ABC TV 18's Dimesh Shah caught up with Rahul Chadda of Mire Asset Management and began by asking him his views on the markets for the rest of 2016. Let's listen in to an excerpt of that conversation. Like if we look back in the first quarter, what happened was in February, everybody was really pessimistic. Yes. It was like an end of world situation. And our point to guys was, look, hard landing is not going to happen. And that's what we've seen. As, as the normal, normalization of the views happened, uh, we saw good performance by markets. Uh, we believe, again, markets would be range bound. Uh, you're not seeing a strong economic recovery. But at the same time, uh, the tail risks are unlikely to materialize in 2016. So okay. I think it's a range bound market. Within that, we continue to be overweight in India. The interesting part was RBI clearly showing signs of uh, you know being on a, on a, on a rate cut uh, mode. Uh, given that, how would you like to play the other rate sensitive stocks? I think autos is something which we've liked. Uh, Industrials would be very selective. Cement would be a good option to play sure. because industrials we've maintained for close to the last two years yeah. that there is enough surplus capacity globally sure. in industrials. Mm -hmm. And every now and then we'll see that competition come in India and impact sure. the profitability, impact the order books sure. of the Indian uh, construction companies. So cement is the best way to play that. Sure. And utilities look interesting. See, with falling interest rates, with uh, Uday kind of yeah. being embraced by close to 10 states, sure. and uh, electrification um, as top of the agenda for the current government, yeah. I think um, utilities look at So within uh, utilities, you think something like a power grid, BHL will do well or? Uh, I think it's going to be more with uh, something like a power grid, okay. but basically pure utilities. Uh, again, you can look at some of the Genco's also, which sure. will benefit through utilization moving up. Um, something like BHL would be more of a mid-cycle uh, okay. play. Sure. Um, let's, let's have these PLFs go to about 80%, 85% sure. for two years, and then we look at something like BHL, sure. provided the Chinese competition is not that high. Okay. I know for a long time you've been uh, you've been advocating an avoid on metals. Uh, we've seen a bit of rally in the metal stocks in India as well, the likes of Tata Steel, even in the all of 40, 50% from the lows. You still, it's still an avoid for you? Yeah, honestly, we've not seen significant capacity cuts in China. Sure. In steel, if you see, there are 50 million tons, but you need to cut about 200 to 50 million tons. Okay. If you look at the sound bites uh, which have come through this earnings season in China for some hmm. of these aluminium cap capacities, they're looking to ramp up capacities. Okay. And uh, again, it's, it's kind of an unspoken rule that your excess capacity you export outside the country. Sure. Um, so on it, one is not really convinced uh, about this rally in my so But, uh, you know, off there have been a lot of reports about Tata still looking to sell out which has been the most dragging business for them, the UK unit. If that something of that sort happens, will that be a good entry point for you? Yeah, I think if that happens, that can be interesting because then you okay. can value the local business, put sure. a number to the better they can earn domestically yeah. with yeah. the current tariffs hmm. and uh, then see whether uh, uh, an upside exists or not. Sure. I, I know you've been also bullish on uh, select aviation stocks as a consumer play. Yeah. Anything that likes in that space? I think the leading uh, leading uh, aviation company, Indigo, looks interesting. They sure. maintain their market share well. It's in uh, well-run airlines. Sure. Uh, and if you look at the numbers, I think we've got a long way to go. So it's okay. fairly competitive vis-a-vis -vis the rail fares. Okay. And uh, we, we keep getting, uh, because it's uh, newly listed stock, sure. we keep getting uh, strong pullbacks. So sure. one, one needs to get uh, entry valuation uh, good, and I think uh, then should be a good start. Okay. Okay, that's the word coming in on the markets, but moving on, uncertain.